Hello, my name is Dr. John Shepard, Virginia Eye Consultants, Norfolk, Virginia. I am a cornea external disease uveitis specialist. Our practice provides tertiary referral subspecialty care in virtually every field of ophthalmology. We recently accomplished a 178 patient comparison between the Aladdin biometer and a traditional LensStar biometer. We were very pleased to see that this was technician and patient friendly. The Aladdin provides not only interferometry based biometry, but also placido disc based topography. In fact, it performs nine different tests in five seconds. And because of this efficiency, we were able to favorably compare not only the data obtained, but some improvements in patient flow. Normally, we obtain three different topographic measurements of our patients, plus the axial length measurements necessary for a biometer. The combined capabilities of this Aladdin unit allowed one less station for patient care. And when we evaluate over 5,000 patients for cataract surgery annually in our practice, every small step in the process that saves time is highly valuable to patient flow and practice efficiency. And by comparing the results, we were of course able to discern that the unit measurements were comparable. And as you know, if one does not have a perfect premium surface, a patient will not get perfect premium intraocular lens surgery. So these measurements are critical. And if we don't have three correspondent cylinders, axial lengths, topographic analyses, regular and irregular astigmatism analysis, and of course the cylinder, we don't have a fix. If those measurements are non-concordant, something is wrong with the surface of the patient and they need to be repeated after therapeutic intervention thus necessitating yet another round of surface testing. Every step in the efficiency saved is valuable to our practice. And frankly, with a two hour evaluation process for the cataract candidate, valuable to our patients as well. Finally, it reduces technician time. The low coherence interferometry and the placido disc topography combined in one unit is clearly time saving. And a company with a reputation of Topcon obviously provides outstanding optics and data analysis. So not only do we combine workstations into one unit, saving time and efficiency, and improving our image with patients, we are also able to incorporate a wide variety of intraocular lens calculation formulas, including the entire suite of Barrett calculations into the device, but we can enter at any time data from new intraocular lenses, including their A constants, to add to our calculation portfolio. And this is all communicable to our medical records, other offices, even some hospitals through DICOM capability. Clearly every patient isn't the same, and surprisingly enough, not all pupils are the same, and many pupils are eccentric. In the operating room, we will often center an intraocular lens with the pupil, not realizing that this is not necessarily concentric with the visual axis and the optical axis. Some patients have high angle kappas, which precludes the use of certain types of intraocular lenses, particularly multifocal lenses, and having a dynamic pupillometry where you can actually see the pupil moving in the camera and record the different ranges of motion and compare it to the corneal diameter given as a white to white measurement, we can best ascertain the centricity of a pupil and calibrate that to the particular patient's needs. With an aspheric lens, it's not as important. With other lens designs, some torque lenses, certainly extended depth of focus lenses and multifocal lenses, this measurement becomes critical to results, patient satisfaction, and practice growth.
Having an onboard Torque IOL calculator, generic or Coke or otherwise, built into the software where the data is readily available precludes the technician re-entering the data into another computer. This saves time, but more importantly, it prevents errors. We know that for every diopter incorrectly measured and entered in the computer calculation for an IOL calculation, we lose one diopter of spheric accuracy in computing the power of the ultimate intraocular lens that will go into the patient's eye. So keratometry measurements, torque measurements, are absolutely critical to the success of every cataract surgery, particularly premium lenses. The advent of premium intraocular lens surgery has revolutionized ophthalmology, optometry, and eye care. But concomitant to this sea change is an accelerated expectation by the patient. Patients demand the very best, and they are often intolerant of even the smallest amount of complications or intraocular lens miscalibrations. Thus, we must underpromise and overperform with a very, very high standard. Excellence in topography and biometry is central to this goal.